infection and stroke. Yeah, I didn't know about this either until last year, but it turns out that after flu season, about three or four weeks later, there is a stroke season. So get this. So this doctor is going, yeah, I've never heard of this before, but get, but my handler told me, right? The CDC said it's a thing, so therefore it's a thing, guys. That's how these people think. I just made this point with Scott Adams and plenty of others. They're just, oh, it is because CDC said. When KJP was asked, how do you know it's Delta variant? Because the CDC told us, you stupid. She didn't say stupid, but she looked at him like, you're an idiot. How do you? Because we just told you the CDC said. Because they don't even understand why that's a dumb thing to say. You mean you don't know for sure? You mean you blindly took what they said? It doesn't matter whether they're experts or not. The point is they could be wrong, couldn't they? This is a guy who is up here telling you we now know there's a stroke season because he was just told there's a stroke season. Sounds smart, doesn't it? Shouldn't you question that? And like you said, most of Canada is uh, getting down off of a, of a big uh, hump of, of flu. So now we're starting to see more strokes. And a friend... yeah, like a flu that just didn't exist during COVID land. And now we just suddenly jump back up again right when COVID seems to go back down. But don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. And of, uh, one of my colleagues actually mentioned that at work the other day. He said, have you noticed how many strokes we're seeing? It's a lot more than usual, it feels like. So anecdotally, we're starting to see that. Ah, okay, so you do notice more, but because the thing they told you, don't worry, it's a normal stroke season, you just go, oh, okay then. <laughs> Even though it's more and we all feel and see that it's more in all of our practices, we're just going to go along with narrative because that's what we do. But again, do you think that it's long flu? I mean, that's the only argument that's being made here. Like, if you have a, an entire months away season, that suddenly more things are happening that you associate with the flu, well, what do you call that? You're, you're making up long flu right there. That's what you're doing. Or it's associated perfectly with the mass vaccination of something you barely tested with this guess stats about the variant every year. I mean, think about the overlaps here we're talking about with COVID. Remember, when you get the variant wrong, you can cause antibody-dependent enhancement. That can cause stroke. That can cause all sorts of things. But no, don't talk about any of that because fake news is here is a very... Well, I, this is that tweet I shared before about the, the pre-vaccination infection fatality rate.